Hello people, this is Bob from Colors Change Works. I hope you are well. Number three in this little 30 characteristics of the knock. So let's continue. The knock is not a team player. Because you see, when you're a team player, it means you work together as a team, whether that team consists of two people or whether it consists of two million people, that's irrelevant. A team is a group of individuals with a single goal to finish or accomplish a particular project, whatever that might be. Now the knock might engage in that, but they'll have to be the leader. But they would prefer to do things by themselves. That way they don't have to rely on the minions in life. They can just take all the glory for themselves. But the minute you have to rely on someone else might suggest that you can't do it all by yourself. You don't have all the skills, the knowledge or whatever. And for the knock, that is a major threat because of their ego that consist consistently gets in the way of achieving things as a group, as a team. So they will always try to be the one-man show, the focal point, the focus is on me kind of attitude. Because I'm the knock, don't you know? So when you see a group effort take place, but you see that one person that is trying to single themselves out a little bit, ding ding, you've identified them. The one who throws out the orders, the one who has to be in charge. Boom. You've got it. I was quite fortunate in this next one that they, I never experienced this. But you will see that the knock, again, to get that attention, to have the world notice them, they will act in ways in public, sometimes foolish, sometimes boisterous, flirtatious, or whatever the case might be, so that people will stop what they're doing in order to pay attention to the knock. I was very fortunate that I never experienced that. But I can see that this is very knock like Because it's about them. So if you as the prey aren't paying attention to how wonderful the knock is. Wait for the behavioral change in public. Because we know in private, you get slated. It's a different ball game there. So, there you go. As always, the knock needs to be put on that pedestal of achievement. Because you see, the knock might start at the bottom, but will feel very uncomfortable there. Because they will be told what to do and how to go about it. So they will try and climb the ladder of success. And that's coming up in a minute. They will try and climb the ladder of success. Expecting you to encourage them and praise them. And comment on about how wonderfully they're doing. Because you see that is like a pump that keeps their ego inflated. As soon as you don't, it's like taking that pump away and the ego deflates. And then they've got to do something that says, the ego is de being deflated, I need to do something. And then any of these 30 will come to, to the fore. And quickly, quickly, the ego is inflated and the knock feels happy and off they go. In their own little delusional world. So there you go.
the narc always wants the best because they are the best and even when they don't have the best they might not necessarily verbalize it they might not even behave in a way that says i want the best but when they don't get the best observe this that they will do things to make your life hell so that they can be that center of attention so whilst they're not verbally expressing desire to be the best believe me up here and here they feel very threatened when they don't have the best and then they will concoct all kinds of stories and scenarios in order to bully and manipulate others to boost their ego so they don't feel as deflated but believe me it's always there keep an eye out on that one and like I said earlier when they try to climb up that ladder of success to them the higher the status the higher the position the more responsible the position the better for them because it is there that they can get the knock whip out and they can beat people around and no one can challenge them because they are in the position of authority because my status says my position says I can but the knock will trample on your head to get there and then beat you over the head with the rod of authority which they've now give, been given by XYZ organization. And as long as they can get to that status, that position, where they can point the critical finger and find your faults and exploit them, the better for them. The knock is always on the hunt for bigger and better things. Always. Another bunch there for you to consider. As always, admin please. For now, this is Mark from Cash Works. I'll speak to you soon.